You're listening to the voice of T.K. Coleman, and this is T.K.'s Two Cents. Today, I'm going to talk about uncompromised souls and meek minds. Meek minds? Yeah, we'll get to that. Let's start with tweet number one. No matter how hard the world works to make it appear as if evil has achieved a final and lasting victory, we can always be sure of the following. There are still spaces where uncompromised souls exist. Find the faithful. Your faith depends on it. If you have ever taken up an interest in competitive games, whether it be boxing, MMA, baseball, basketball, soccer, chess, you are familiar with the concept of trash talk. Trash talk is a kind of psychological warfare whereby you try to get into your opponent's heart and mind by saying things that convinces them that they have already been defeated before the match has begun. Why? Because the best way to beat your opponent on the field is to defeat them in their mind. If you can get your opponent to believe that the battle is no longer worth fighting because it's already been lost a long time ago, or it's just too hard of a thing to pull off? Well, now showing up is just a mere exercise, a mere ritual, and you walk through the performance and you conquer them, you kill them. I believe in good and evil, and I believe that not every force in this world is working for the good of humanity. I believe that there are forces at work in this world that don't like freedom at all. And these forces try to convince us that freedom is not bad. And when they can't convince us that freedom is bad, I mean, I'm sorry, these forces try to convince us that freedom is bad. And when they can't convince us that freedom is bad, they try to convince us that freedom is not worth fighting for. Because if they can do that, they can take our freedom away. And so a whole lot of time and energy and resources gets invested into creating the appearance that no one has sense anymore. No one has a love for freedom anymore. No one has a love for individual rights anymore. Everybody who's anybody wants to take away your individual rights and oppress you and stomp on you and tell you what to do and make you their slave. And you know what? When we do recognize people behaving that way, people believing that way, people talking like that, we should get upset about it and we should resist. We should fight for our freedom. But it's also important to understand that there is, an, that there is a difference between appearance and reality. And sometimes freedom is opposed not merely by those who shout out against individual rights, but freedom is opposed by those who try to create an appearance that says, no one thinks like you. You're all by yourself. So you better not speak up. You better not ask any questions. You better not make any objections. You better not express any skepticism or concern because you're alone. You're all by yourself. And if you stick your neck out there for truth and what is right, we're going to chop it off and there will be no one there to stand with you. No one there to cry for you. No one there to defend you. And so what you have is you've got a whole lot of freedom fighters out there, a whole lot of freedom believers out there that are kind of sitting back and thinking to themselves, uh-oh, I'm the only one. I'm the only one who still believes in freedom. But I want to say to you, you're not the only one. You're not the only one. But the way to find out is you've got to engage the real world. You cannot settle for having your reality mediated to you through a television screen, mediated to you through your smartphone, through your mobile device, through your computer screen. You've got to look at reality beyond Twitter, beyond Facebook, beyond Instagram, and you've got to find your own way to engage with real human beings in the real world who will tell you what they really think when they don't have a thousand uh Twitter profiles with these fake AI generated faces responding to every question you ask, everything that you say, shouting you down for daring to question things. Your faith depends on that. Sometimes you will be called to stand alone for what is right, to stand alone for what is true, to stand alone for what is just, to speak truth to power, as they say. Sometimes you will be called to do that. But when you do that, you will find more often than not that you're not alone. 
And it's your willingness to stand alone that puts you in a position where you can signal to the right people, the other freedom lovers who needed a voice of courage to stand up for what is right. And they will say, hey, we'll join you. We'll join you. But even if they don't, the truth is worth living for. Freedom is worth fighting for. And even if the whole world loses its mind, please don't lose your faith in freedom. Because if we lose that, we really lose everything. So many people believe that, you know, well, I can give up my faith in freedom and still hang on to something else. But there is nothing else. There's nothing good that does not depend on your freedom to choose it, to reject it, to fight for it, to love it, to hate it. There's nothing that doesn't depend on your freedom to embrace it or not. Let's go to tweet number two. Blessed are the meek does not mean blessed are the weak. It means blessed are those who combine their strengths with self-control, sound thinking, and spiritual purpose. I want to speak to something today. A tendency for people with strengths, with gifts, talents, advantages, privileges, if you will, who feel so guilty about what they have that they try to artificially suppress it or live apologetically because, well, they believe that only the meek shall inherit the earth. And since they associate being meek with being weak, being meek with lacking strength, lacking gifts, lacking talents, lacking resources, well, I guess I've got to race to the bottom and try to make myself as weak as possible. And they give up their advantages, they give up their resources, or they pretend like they don't have them because they want to try to be someone who has it really bad because they've been convinced that those are the people that inherit the earth. That's not the way to think about it. Being meek is not about lacking strength. Being meek is about recognizing that you have a unique form of strength even if you haven't fully developed it or fully actualized it, you have a unique form of strength and combining that strength with wisdom and with self-control and using it for good. The meek person isn't the person who says, oh my gosh, I have a lot of money. This is so evil. Let me burn it. The meek person is the person who says, I'm blessed to have a lot of financial resources. Let me use this for good. Let me use this powerful tool in a manner that is life-giving rather than in a manner that is self-stultifying or harmful to others. The meek person isn't the person that says, oh my gosh, I know things. I've been educated. I've been taught things. I better play like I don't know. I better pretend to be ignorant when I'm not really ignorant. No, the meek person is the person who says, I have been blessed with the opportunity to learn things, to be informed about things, and I'm not going to keep it to myself. I'm going to use this knowledge to create opportunities and wealth for myself and others, and I'm going to use this knowledge to share it, to educate with other minds and hearts that are open to learning new things. The meek person isn't the person that says, uh, oh no, I'm physically strong and I have the ability to knock out a man. I guess I better go around pretending to be weak and being a little doormat for everybody to walk all over me. No, the meek person is the person that says, I've got the strength to knock you out cold like Mike Tyson. And I'm going to use this strength to defend in the name of justice, the individual rights of myself and others. I'm going to use this strength to knock down obstacles I'm going to use the strength of my mind and the strength of my body to build things that are worth building. Being meek is about being strong in the right way. It's not about pretending to be stupid when you are smart, pretending to be poor when you are rich, pretending to be disadvantaged when you are actually advantaged. It's about saying whatever it is that I have, there's something good to be found here. And I'm going to use that good to be more of a blessing than a burden. That's how you inherit the earth. Let's go to tweet number two. That's not tweet number two, man. Ah, I already did tweet number two. Okay. You see, I just got on a roll and I just got so into this that um, I thought that was the first tweet. So that was tweet number two. So my friends, that's TK's two cents. 
on, on uncompromised souls and meek minds. I never take having an audience for granted. You all don't owe me anything. You don't owe it to sit here and watch my videos. You don't owe me that. So I appreciate you staying here and listening to what I have to say. If you're watching on YouTube, please hit the like and the subscribe buttons. Please leave a comment giving your feedback or offering your own additional commentary. I love to hear what you're thinking. If there's something that you want me to talk about, something you want me to ask me, please leave it here as well. If you're listening on audio via the podcast, please rate, please subscribe, please leave a comment as well and keep on living freely in your own life and modeling what that means for others so that you can inspire the next generation to be free as well. Peace.